Hello my strange and charmed ones, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I wanted to do something of more of a fun video and it's about a question I get asked all the time which is my laptop decal, the laptop skin that I use. So if I've talked about this before, I think in like at least one other video that I get my laptop skins, I make them custom from a website called decalgirl.com. I've been using their website for years to create different like vinyl skins and custom cases for my laptop and I've gotten so many questions about it I thought I should do a video. I also recently purchased a new skin um, and I am going to show you guys like the general process for how I removed my old skin and put the new skin on. So if you're interested in personalizing your laptop stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need in order to upload your own custom artwork to Decal Girl is some custom artwork. So the artwork that I'm going to be showing you guys here today is this beautiful piece that I created. It is like my part marble, part black and white stripes, which I love. Um, and this is obviously already pre-made and so the artwork that you're going to be using is whatever you've decided on either something you've created yourself with your family photos or maybe something you've created in Canva or even maybe like some sort of image that you have like purchased or downloaded online. So I just wanted to show you guys really quickly the image size, um, specifically the pixels that I'm using for this image because I think it turned out really well. Now, I don't believe that the Decal Girl website gives you any like recommended dimensions for your image, um, but this one seems to work really well. So I just wanted to share this with you. So if you are creating something in Photoshop or in Canva or PicMonkey, um, these are the pixel dimensions that I'm using. So you wanna remember this 5184 wide and 3456 high. Okay, so you might wanna write those down or pause this video and take a screenshot so you have this information. Okay, so like I said, we're already done with that, so we can go straight over to the Decal Girl website. So this is www.decalgirl.com that we're using here, and this is the home page. If you are interested in, you know, shopping what they already have, the designs they already have, you can go ahead and go to the shop function, search for skins, cases, sleeves, MacBook stickers, all that jazz but I'm showing you guys today how to create your own custom skin. So they have custom skins you can create, cases, sleeves, and monograms, which is really awesome. They have a lot of different like vinyl decals and, and different um, personalizations for your laptop. But today we are going to the custom skins. So you can see these are the options for the skins. So I'm gonna go to MacBook because that's what I have. But if you have a different sort of laptop um, or you wanna make this for your iPhone or your iPad or your game console, because I know I've purchased in the past a custom game console skin for Mike um, for his Xbox One and he absolutely loved it. It was one of his birthday presents. So this is another option. Um, but I wanted to make a word about the laptop skins. They don't have every single device out on the market, but they do have some generic sizes. So if you don't find your exact exact laptop, I highly suggest checking out what the dimensions of your case are for your laptop and seeing what they've got available. You can also always send them an email. Their customer service is great, so don't be afraid to reach out to them and you know find out what you should choose if you have a model of a laptop that's not here on their site. So like I said, I'm going to MacBook skins, okay? So I'm doing create your own. So the first thing I need to do is to pick my MacBook and I've got an 11 inch MacBook Air and from the drop down, we have a couple of different options here. You can either do outer and inner skins, which means the outer case, um, the back of your monitor, as well as the inner keyboard section where you can do the outer skin only. In my most recent order from Decal Girl that I'm gonna show you guys in a second, I only did an outer skin because I wanted to keep the striped inner skin that I already had um, on my laptop as well. So you can choose whatever you want. If you just want it to be on the back of your computer or if you also want it on the hand rest area, choose what you want. And 
And for Mac computers, um, and I'm not sure if any other computers have this option, um, you have the option to put your logo exposed. Um, so that's what I like. I want to be able to see my logo, uh, which means it is a cutout around the apple. So I'm just for now just going to pick outer and inner skins with the logo in, in exposed. Okay, so now you get to a screen where they're basically showing you, you know, how to create um, your own custom skin. So there's a few different options you have. You can actually just go ahead and create uh, your own by changing color, adding text, adding a monogram. But what I've done here is I have an, an image that I want to upload. So I'm just going to head and click on that. And conveniently enough, I already have this uploaded, so I just have to select it. And as you can see, it kind of just pops this in right onto the the laptop skin, which is great. And you have the ability to get basically take this on the corners if you want and move this around. I can shrink in on the corners or pull it out if I wanted it even, you know, even bigger or something like that. But the way that they had it was actually probably like perfectly centered, which was pretty cool. Um, now I'm just messing around even though I'm not really placing an order right now. <laughs> but yeah, something like that's good. Yep. Um, and then once you have everything the way that you want, you hit next. Okay, so the next option you'll get is the inner tray. So the inner tray, you do not have to necessarily use the same image on this inner tray. See, if I want to take that away, I can just apply a color. Let's say I just wanted black on the inside and I wanted to add text. Uh, let's say strange and charmed. What color am I going to make it? Let's say I'm going to make it white, right? Say I just wanted to add that right you can create whatever you want here which is pretty awesome so like let's say that's what I wanted um, as my bottom my bottom lid you can do whatever you want which is really awesome and you could even go and upload a totally different image if you wanted to um, I just have this one image here in my uploads right now but you can see I could just click it again and go right back to it so once you're happy with your outer and your inner lid cover you hit next again and it starts it creates a preview for you which is really fun so you can see here you've got your custom skin and you can even share your design which is really awesome with friends and family so they can see it as well and once you're ready to check out you can click this little button here and yeah add it to your cart right now once you go to check out You'll see that actually this website is really great. They have a lot of different coupon codes going on at all different times. Right now it looks like there's a 25% off your order with the code WINTERBLUES. Um, but if you're watching this video and that's not um, that's not actually running anymore, I have a code from them um, that I want to put in here. So it's Strange Charmed 15 and that would get you 15% off of your order. So. Obviously, if you're watching this like the day I put it up <laughs> and this winter blues is still going on, this is definitely a better coupon code. But if not, this strange charmed 15 will get you 15% off your, your order. So um, you can just add that and it'll automatically deduct. So don't be afraid to use that. So that's just a little coupon code that Decal Girl graciously offered me. Um, this video is absolutely not sponsored. Everything I buy from them, I buy myself. Um, but they did reach out to me with a coupon code um, if I wanted to share it with my audience. And since so many of you guys are interested in these skins, I definitely wanted to pass it along. Okay, so now for the application and removal process. This striped decal was the decal I had on my laptop previously, and it is so tightly stuck on my laptop. Let me tell you, these vinyl decals are really, really hefty. So it did take me a few minutes to actually work piece by piece and remove the decal off of my computer, but there was absolutely no damage done to my computer. It was just highly stuck on. I think that what happens is that these begin to cure as they are on top of your laptop. So this is not a situation where you'll be able to remove them and save them. As you can see, I'm doing like severe damage to this decal as I remove it. But 
once you finally get the entire vinyl decal off, you have a completely clean laptop underneath. And so what I just do is I just make sure to clean up the edges with an extra wipe. Just make sure that any little bits that may have been stuck on from the decal are wiped off. Next, I apply the new decal by lining it up with the edges of the device and make sure that it's nice and centered. And then I like to pat it down. I do try to work from the inside out to ensure there's no bubbles. And voila, I've got a beautiful new skin on my laptop. Okay, so that's the process that I use to upload my own custom artwork to Decal Girl and then order my own custom skins. And as you can see, that is how I remove my skins and put them back on. Things are pretty, it's pretty easy to do this. You just have to have a little bit of patience. Now I love vinyl decals because they are the perfect mix of a little bit of added protection for my laptop and a whole lot of added personalization, which I love. But they're not the only option out there for you if you're interested in personal Personalizing. There's one more thing I wanted to show you guys um, that you might have seen on my laptop in previous videos or Instagram pictures before and it's hard shell cases. Now this particular hard shell case was actually something that came in a whole kit that came with my case, a matching keyboard cover, it also came with like a mouse and a um, matching laptop sleeve. It came in a whole set and I actually bought that from Amazon. So I will leave this linked down below so you guys can check out these different bundles on Amazon. They were so inexpensive. But these hard shell cases are another great way to personalize your laptop. As you can see, they come in two parts. There is a part for the top of your laptop, the cover, um, and then a part that sits on the bottom. So this is like the bottom part of the laptop it would cover. So these are really great options. I think if you're someone who is traveling a lot, um, I think that these sorts of cases are really great. The only thing I have to say about these cases is that I do not think that these cases are necessarily meant for long-term wear on your laptop. And the reason I say that is number one, they will protect your laptop from scratches and bumps and bruises and things like that. But they won't protect your laptop from like a really bad drop, right? These things can crack. They are like just hard molded plastic. So they definitely can crack. Um, so they're not something that's necessarily meant for like really rough and tough handling of your laptop. Additionally, these sorts of hard plastic covers, although they do provide a nice like layer of protection on your laptop, I do find that when I use these cases for a extended period of time, I end up overheating my laptop. Now, I have a MacBook Air, which doesn't have a problem with overheating because it's a very small, compact laptop, but I will feel that it will get noticeably warmer when it's inside one of these cases because these cases are trapping heat inside. Yes, this bottom part has like a ventilation for heat, but it still ends up trapping heat a little bit more often than I would like. So, you know, I've had problems with these cases in the past with prolonged use, like literally overheating a computer. So you just wanna make sure that you're using these for short periods at a time and make sure you remove them regularly because unlike the decal skin, which is like completely flush with your laptop, these do still get, you know, dirt and grime will still get under the cover and on the bottom cover. And what'll end up happening is it, the dirt will kind of sit there like trapped under the case and it can actually cause cr uh, scratching, just minimal scratching um, or dirt damage to your laptop. So, you know, remove these regularly, let your laptop have a chance to breathe. And of course, make sure you're cleaning your laptop regularly, especially if you're using these sorts of hard plastic cases. But these are super easy, um, you know, to just pop on and off. Um, I never really have a problem with them and they're, I think they're pretty durable. Again, I'm very light on my laptop. I don't do anything like crazy. It doesn't like fall and drop um, usually ever. So, you know, these sorts of things are a really great way to also personalize your laptop. If you wanna kind of add color or a pretty pattern, or just make some sort of statement with your laptop. I think this is another great way to personalize. So I'll make sure to link these down below as well as additional details for Decal Girl. 
Okay, so that is how I like to personalize my laptop. I hope that this answered any of the questions that you guys had um, about the laptop personalization, specifically around the Decal Girl skins. Um, and I hope that for some of you, maybe I gave you a new idea for how you can add a little bit of flair to your laptop or a little bit of personalization. I absolutely love personalizing my laptop, um, but I'm kind of a tech geek, so that's just me. It doesn't have to be for everyone, but I hope this video was was fun for you and answered some of your questions or sparked a bit of creativity. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below and I will do my best to respond to those as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video or would like to see some more tech inspired videos from me, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course let me know down in the comments as well. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye bye